Oops, I made the right button. Alright. You, you, you. Good to go. Just put that on. It is September. Oh, why is that doing that? All right. I'm gonna move my arm because this is getting big. super big so I just finished the row sorry I know I'm probably making a bunch of noise oh that's not good gosh trying to move the mic so that it's not in the picture but it's at a good spot so I can see what I'm doing and I realized I probably made like a crap ton of noise alright so I want to get this situated as you can see I have been working on it off stream a little bit to fix some issues because I had left it on um, for those who have seen without the uh, green screen there's a little uh, couch behind me I left it on the couch the other night and the cat decided it was a good time to chew the urn so I was not a fan but it was easily fixed he just kind of chewed it and broke it in two. It wasn't part of the, it wasn't yarn that I had used already. So he didn't chew on the project, but he broke my yarn. I need, let's see. Ooh, Batgirl, sub with the tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it, sub hype. Put sub hype in chat. I'll do this. I'm the only one here. I'll use Brian's sub hype too. Sub hype? What up, bat? Oh, here, I'll start the words on stream. Start. Oh, I need to turn off the sound though. Settings. There. We're done stream. Up and going. So what's going on? What are you up to? Right now I need to bring in this yarn. Normally I don't do this on Wednesday, but I have had like a pounding, pounding headache all day. So I was like, eh. I thought, well, I'll do this. Because Saturday, I would have done it. But we were busy doing the double XP and COD, so. I was like, why not? That's way too much. Oop. All right. That. Nice. 
So what do you have to do? Playing with the kiddos? Nice. Hello, kiddos. Is the music loud enough? Because I can't tell. I'm still not totally sure I have the camera the way I want it for this. I did not leave very long of a tip. Didn't leave much tail. It's all about the tail. I'm gonna try to adjust this like a split second. Maybe. You can't really hear it. Well, it could be because I have it low, so because I found I find pretzel rocks annoying. One second. Oh god, I have it almost nothing. I had it at like three percent. <laughs> You let me know when you can hear it. <laughs> How's that? That's a 15%. You can hear it? I had it, I turned it way down. It was really boy, really annoying me. I'm still trying to get this camera like where it should be. back towards me kind of all right that'll have to do for tonight all right no worries I'll be here Anybody who's popping by, I appreciate it. Um, this we've been working on just for this is only the third time on screen, and come on, post. And I could have swore I had that. Maybe just ask me for craft. Yeah, there's the link to um, the project. So if anyone is actually interested, and it's super easy. Um, like I mentioned before, it's basically two different stitches over and over again. You just uh, alternate them, which is pretty cool. It gives you a nice little design. It's called a griddle stitch. And in Discord, I had posted um, a picture with a few different projects on it. Um, just to mix it up, because I know Saturday nights are going to be like the cr typical craft stream. Now that we're how's that going on? It? Um, just to mix it up, maybe because this blanket's going to take a while. Um, just to mix it up, to maybe throw in, maybe we work part part of a stream on this and then switch over to something else. Um, I had ordered um, a cross stitch. I have never attempted a cross stitch. So I try to get something somewhat easy. I'm assuming it's easy um, because I've, I, it is something I've already, I've always like my mother-in-law. She does it and stuff, and it looks super cool and it looks fun. Um, so I'm gonna give that a try. But I also posted a picture um, of a couple other projects because I know a couple people had mentioned that there were some th things they wanted to maybe learn how to make for gifts. So. Um, if that's something that people are interested in doing too, um, I can do it so that we can follow along and the VODs, I'll post them to YouTube so that if people need extra Did I lose this to, um, time One last dance, or need to go back and review what was done and pause it and stuff like that, I they can, can go ahead and do that as well. Did I do too Thanks for the follow, Kate. Catch. Cat Vincent. You Thank you, I appreciate it. I was in a rush, I'm sorry. 
so I thought that would be good because some of the projects I think well one of them was a pair of slippers that comes in any size from kids up to adults or women or men um, and another was like a type of not really a poncho per se but it uh, straightforward very easy especially if you're just new to crocheting because I know sometimes it, can, sometimes it can look like it's overwhelming, but it's really not. do this whole follow for follow thing and all that and it may help people's numbers and look, like look good in the short term but not everybody stays and interacts and stuff I am happy for all the people that have joined and a lot of people that have interacted with the channel and stuff and so to me that's more important which is awesome how do I work in the new color okay so I literally um the lady that did the original pattern for this, I watched her video, and this is so, so, how I never saw this before. I've been crocheting since I was like my grandmother taught me when I was 12. So I would always before stop, cut my ear, like stop, have to like weave in all the ends and have, there's literally, you don't change the color every time. So you'll notice I have two strands. I have both colors going. I have both colors going. So what happens is you're alternating. This is the griddle stitch. So you're alternating a single crochet and a double crochet and 10 stitches across for each little block. So when you get to the end and you get to the 10th stitch for that color, when you go to, I'll back off here and show you. So I have one double crochet left to do on this one. So what happens is you yarn over, go through and pull up. So you have your three three loops on your on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first one with the color you're working on, so that it levels out and squares off. Then you drop that color, and the color that you basically have been stranding in underneath that you've been looping your when you pull your loops up, you've been going over it, so it's to hide the other. Of the yarn that you weren't working with then you take that yarn and pull through the last two loops so that when you go to start the next one you've got a completely square so now this color I'm going to work with the light purple and the, the white color which is kind of a light violet actually yeah super easy hey goalie super easy so now see you go under when you pull it up the white is going to get trapped inside so it's just like uh, you're you're carrying through and it's actually kind of nice because it makes the blanket a little thicker because you've got a strand of yarn basically woven in through the pattern all throughout the blanket and you always every now and then have to just make sure you kind of pull it a little tight just so that it's not all puckered. So again, I'm at the end. So what I'm gonna do is yarn over, go in under, pull up my loop. So I've got my three on there to do my double crochet. Yarn over with my purple and pull through the first two. I still have two loops on, but now I'm gonna to switch to start the next color block. I'm gonna yarn over with the new color and pull through. Boom, nice and square. Easy peasy. What's up, Colby? So basically trap the color I'm not working with until the last stitch. Exactly. And you just keep carrying it through. Some colors you'll find kind of show through a little bit, but it, for the most part, depending on the color combinations you've done, it, it's fine. So now that 
some colors will hide easier than others too, right? But it's your gaming. Nice. I keep pulling it forward. Like the only time I end up weaving in any ends is when I switch between the rows like the, the big chunks of rows because all of a sudden I'll have to drop the white and switch back to the, the, the lighter it's not the lilac I think it was called I switched from the lilac to the dark purple that's the only time and you do that at the end of the row so you're not having to have knots or anything in between throughout your project and this is a blanket too that um, the pattern was originally the size of a crib for a baby um, I turn around and what do you mean the network error? Um, if you had a network error, just refresh. So all you have to do, it's just, you can adjust the size to be big or as small as you would like based on knowing that each square is 10 stitches across. If you're one of Batgirls playing the words words on stream up in the corner there. Um, so it's uh, you can adjust it as long as you have it's a 10 plus one. So if you wanted it to be like I measured it the first time I did a little just a little testing how wide my block was going to be. So this one I made 171 because you want an odd number of blocks. So you can make it as big or as small as you need. And some of the color combinations that I've seen online too are super cute. And that's one of the things like when I'm standing at like Michael's looking at yarn, I'm like, oh, uh, that shouldn't probably go together. But then you see somebody make a blanket or something and they put those colors together and it looks absolutely amazing. So don't be scared to throw colors together. And the border I did on the last one it was a crochet stitch, but it looks like a knit stitch. And you went again. You're the only one playing that. Um, <laughs> it looks like um, the cuff of like a, a sweater, like the the ribbing on the hem of a sweater. Um, but it's just a crochet stitch. You could put whatever border on it you wanted. Uh, it would be very much so very much so totally agree on that one because I know I end up having lots of yarn left I'm saying too that you would have to something like this I've seen there's um, an afghan or a blanket that was done crochet it looks like a quilt because you're making like this the squares if you knew say you had a bunch of leftover yarn you could turn around and make it almost look like a patchwork quilt. You wouldn't necessarily have to do the, re the repeating pattern that's shown here. You could totally turn around and make it your own. That would actually be kind of cool. I don't think you hit a volcano. I don't think you got okay, no, I think you hit a wave back. But it's one, two that the pattern is just a single, then a double, single, then a double, single, then a double. But when you rotate the, the work and you move on to the next round, your singles that you've done, the next round, the doubles end up going into singles. So it ends up, it's that's why it evens out like the layers, the rows, because your doubles go into your singles and your singles go into your doubles so that it's even height. There you go, Beth. You got her that time. 
Um, this is the second one of these I made. Um, I made a, a navy blue one. green screen cover. Um, a navy blue one, a, a navy blue, white, and a light blue, and it turned out nice. And for this year, um, we have a team together raising money for Extra Life. Um, it's gamers helping kids for the Miracle Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. And we have a team going, and for mine, everybody who, anybody who donates, um, for every five dollars that they donate, they're going to get a ballot and to win a custom one of these of their color of choice. I made one for my partner that matches his eyes last winter, and sure enough, he's tucked into his jacket without coming in the bottom. Nice. And the thing is, anybody who does anything that has involved here. They always either buy more than they need because you always want to make sure you have enough, or there's enough, some left over. I mean, no one ever just told you that there's more. Or not in my experience, anyway. So I've got like totes full of urine. And every now and then I go back and just kind of make like a a blanket or something that tries to use up some of it too, right? Or I'll turn around and make some. I've made teddy bears. Keep thinking of you. Last year, for Baby Christmas, we made a reindeer. And he ended up big, being bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, so that that's a good way to use up the smaller amounts of yarn so that you may not quite have enough. So I adjusted the music, so hopefully it's not too loud. If it is, let me know. And the thing is too, like with this, test scar is easy because I always tell my friends who want to learn to start with scar fill and needs one chain of red heart and a hook or a pair. Exactly. And I find too, um, like when I originally started learning stuff, my grandmother taught me, she taught me how to knit first. And I prefer crocheting over knitting. I can knit, I can knit like, fairly well, um, cause it's been a number of years, but I do prefer crocheting, especially for people starting out, because it's much more forgiving. If you need to turn around and pull back some of your project, it's much easier to pick up where you're left because you have one loop. Whereas if you're knitting, you gotta watch your stitches, you gotta, like, it's, it's not as forgiving and it's a little harder to, especially if you end up dropping the stitch. Until you get the practice, I just think something like this would be a lot less frustrating. And by this, I mean crocheting in general. Like like you said, a scarf would be super easy. Or learning how to do just a granny square and then making a bunch of granny squares and stitching them together. And that was, oh, that was something too. Um, I was going to add a poll into Discord for maybe after Christmas, starting the new year. If there's people that want to learn different stitches or different things, we could maybe do um, a stitch a week, but make it be like maybe so many different, the, we determine the size of how much each block we want it to be and then turn around and do like a, almost make like a sampler blanket if people wanted to do that, so. Then you would basically have, depending on the size of the blocks and how many we would need, you would have a blanket that each square was a different, different stitch in a different pattern. So it would have some cool textures to it and stuff. So I thought that might be kind of a fun idea if there was enough interest. I find too there's there's more people. Um, Nowadays, especially younger people that are interested in learning how to do some of this stuff, it had kind of gone by the wayside um, over the years, which is a shame. But I mean, if you had told me years ago when my grandmother taught me that I'd be doing this as much as I do or to the extent that I do, I would have been like, you're crazy. But no, I... Uh, 
helps keep me sane, to be honest. It really depends on my mood, knit versus crochet. Like if I'm doing wash rags or traditional granny squares, then it's crochet. Yep, something longer knitting. Although I'm thinking of challenging myself with a shawl or a blanket. Um, to knit one? A shawl would be fun. You'd have to use the, um, the needles that have the extender things on them. I find I tend to do the smaller projects for knitting. When it comes to a larger project, I prefer the crocheting, but I think that it depends on the person and it depends on the project too, right? And what you've learned and what you're comfortable with. I just find, to me, I find when I'm crocheting, um, you see the results faster because it seems to show better to knit a shawl, crochet your granny square leg. I think a shawl, I, one of the projects I'm, I had posted in Discord but maybe doing was um, kind of a poncho slash shawl kind of thing. Um, I haven't really done one in a while. I did post um, in another Discord I'm in, oh shoot, um, a uh, poncho that I did that, do you ever make something you're like, oh my god, I really like that, I don't want to wear it in case I ruin it. <laughs> 13th and Fortnite. Nice. GG's. Oh, wait. Single double. Um, and let me see if I can find the link to the Let me see if I can find the link to This is the one I made and it turned out like amazing. Using Deadpool because it seems right. Do you notice they put they added a giant Black Panther statue into the game? Um, you have a big backlog project I want to make, but then wish I'm still doing scares. I have a few things that I've started that I end up setting aside because I'll start something, I'm like, oh, and then I'll see something else. I'm like, oh, I should do that. Someone so would like that, or I'll do this because yeah, well, I have some projects on the go. <laughs> Peeled a bunch of beets at supper. My fingers are all like purple. Are you going to be on for a while, Colby? Because after stream, maybe we could do some duos. interesting future pants and the next day let's skip that one that sounds a little weird so even though I don't need this color through here I still strand it through just because it, to keep the thickness of the blanket even through it I tend to do that so Keep track of my rows just because it's eight rows up before. 
where you have to change. I just have a little piece of paper next to me here that I keep track of. What I do is, um, especially when it's a project that involves like multiple colors of yarn, and I keep track of how big I've made the project. Because if for any reason I go back and I want to make it again, um, what I do is I just have like an envelope and I keep track of like my rows on um, one side of it here. It's hard to see, but I keep track of like the rows I've done. Um, and then inside I have any of the, the papers that come around the yarn. So I know, okay, I made it X number of inches or it was whatever, however big it was. I know that I need like this, I used, this number of balls of the dark, this number of balls of the medium, this number of balls of the light, so that I know we're off the really nice. So it's just kind of handy um, to help me keep track. And then go, what I do is um, I'll mark on the inside of the envelope how big it ended up being. Um, and then I have inside what I use. And then I'll kind of tuck that and um, I have a little folder. I'll tuck it in there and then if I have to go around, go back and make another one, I know when I go to the store, I need this many of this one, this many of that one, this many, and then I can make it this big and I'll have enough yarn. Or if somebody asks me for the pattern, I can say, well, if you want to make it this big, you're gonna need this, this, and this, because it may have been a modification to the original one, so. This music is really fucking me. I wish you could just listen to your own music. That would be so much better. But hey, you follow the rules. So on Discord, if you do Discord, um, we have a uh, a place where other folks can post. Why did that send? Oh, my stream deck disconnected. Um, we have a section where people can post things they've made or they're working on. It's, um, we talk about crafting stuff, but we all, it's, there's gaming, there's a bit of everything. Batgirl posting the Twitter. Yeah, I only made them worth like one sprinkle because there was no point in having people spend all their, their, their channel points on just trying to find out the, the links. So again, you kind of see how it puckers a little bit. So you just have to go back through and just kind of gently pull it a little bit, not too tight, too much, because you don't want to misshape in it. Uh, oxtail bat, O-X-T-A-I-L, try that one. Might be the long word. I'm waiting to see if it works. She might be busy with the kids. Oxtail, I think probably was your long word. So is it just crocheting and knitting you do, Kat?
I always like to see other people's stuff. Sometimes seeing some others, some other people's projects can give you an idea. I've been using. We got a Cricut machine um, this past Christmas. And I've been messing around with that. It's been kind of fun. I like seeing other people's projects though. It, just, it can be inspiration to do something different or it can be something that maybe I wouldn't have thought of doing and be like, oh, I'll try that. Like a friend of mine, she's really good at doing the felting stuff. And I think it might be a little bit beyond what I would want to be getting into, but it's really fascinating to watch actually. And a little ball of puffy stuff and turn it into like a fox or an owl or like it's I'd have a stick figure I can't draw to save my life but it's interesting too because like sometimes something like this she's come to me for because she's like I'm struggling I don't understand and then I look at the pattern I'm like oh it's this this and this everybody's good at something and the more we can kind of share some of the 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 skills around the more people are going to learn and the more people are going to get comfortable with doing stuff and it'll be I think it's just it's a good way to do it because if we don't keep um, sharing it around and people don't keep learning it then it's going to kind of die out so there is that I just find stuff like this it's relaxing it's and then you end up having something to show for it and that's a weird one um I'm just looking at the words on the stream thing I just I just find it very satisfying to, to start with just yarn and then you end up with something So it's going to be interesting to see um, this cross stitch. <laughs> I hope I'm going to be able to see the stitches fairly easily. I have old lady eyes. Kiddos all back to school that they settled in all right with it. Oops. See, I messed up there. But I can just rip it back and keep on going. Owen goes back a week from today. He's getting kind of nervous with the whole COVID thing. But I think once they get there and they get a couple of days in and they get into their back into the routine, I think it's actually gonna be the best thing. I have to take him shopping for clothes. And I am not looking forward to that because taking a teenage boy shopping for clothes does not sound fun to me. You do some sewing as well, I'm craft in general. I'm an amateur prop man. Oh, nice! Magic honey pot for Winnie the Pooh. Uh, where I made fall spells and others include jellyfish umbrellas and pool noodle corals. Oh, cool! When um, my husband grew up in Nova Scotia and he was big into um, theater arts, but he did a lot of like the set design stuff. Um, during school because he's a graphic designer and a graphic artist and so he did a lot of like painting sets and stuff like that That's cool, but I just can't get over like some of the you see people post like their cosplays of different things sometimes and Some of the the skills some people have with stuff like this is it's unbelievable. I Wish I had half of what they can do. They start next Tuesday nice Like I know 
everyone always is like, oh, I wish I could do what you do, or I wish I could, or someone would be like, oh, I wish I could do what they do. Everyone wishes they could do something that other people do, but there's always something they do that other people wish they could do. And it's good too that, um, especially if it's something that you can enjoy, that you could maybe turn it into like a job, as long as it doesn't become feeling like a job. Oops. I have to wake them up at 7 a.m. now. Yeah, no, I know. I have been having to try to get Owen up and to try to get a teenager out of bed before lunch. Good luck. Yeah, if you're interested in joining the Discord, I'm actually quite interested to see if you have any pictures of some of your stuff. I'm actually interested to see what all you've done. I've always been... My dad, used to, when he was alive, used to joke saying that I was born in the wrong generation because I've always enjoyed doing stuff like this. And I've always had to have something, whether it was this or um, other crafts or whatever, just anything on the go. I had to... That's my mother. She was dismayed when I told her I preferred knitting or crocheting to sewing. She has one master crush. Oh, really? That's awesome, though. Because she can pass down like a lot of like the sewing skills and stuff so i mean that's good my mother couldn't sew a straight line and she admits that but doesn't mean she didn't stop she stopped trying but my grandmother used to when this was when my brother and i were like little and he's older than me i'm the youngest so this would have been about oh god 50 years ago my grandmother used to make outfits for school and stuff and it's a lost art, I think. And especially nowadays too, like why, I can see why some people are like, well, why bother? Like I can go to Walmart or somewhere and buy a t-shirt or Michael's for that fact, buy a t-shirt for less than four bucks. Why pay for the material to make your own? But like, it depends what you're sewing. Like, there's some cases where it's actually cheaper and more convenient just to go buy it, but depending on what you're trying to do, there's still something about making some stuff yourself. And it's, it's, I think it's amazing to have the skill to do it. Like there's some people that don't even need a pattern. They can just look at something and go, I think I'll make something that looks like this like clothes designers and stuff like I don't know how they do some of that stuff I mean power to them I tried sewing when I was a little a little younger and I can sew like I'll, I'm I've done quilts where I had to sew stuff together and that but I don't think I could make clothes because that's, you have to be pretty exact when it comes to that. I don't think I, it's not that I wouldn't have the patience. I think it's just, I don't know if I would know, be able to do it as well as I would want to. So there's that. But there's so many talented people. I think it's important for everyone to share their talent too. Because sharing, you, you, you could turn around and show something to somebody and they all of a sudden take an interest in what you're doing and they think, oh, I might like to try that. So then all of a sudden now there's somebody else that's, that's doing knitting or there's someone else that's doing sewing or painting or whatever the case may be and 
you may have gotten them into a new hobby you may have been it's awesome her first one was me at glinda the witch of the oh nice the award was for my crown and dress she hot glued every jewel on that thing i had to stand for at all she didn't have the mannequin oh that's awesome though because she did really well you helped be an amazing memory for everybody It's the pro there's um a friend of mine. Um, he does a lot of cosplay for the division game, and he has in the past. And the amount of time and effort that goes into some of these pieces, holy cow! You have to be pretty. Some people have to be pretty dedicated to put the effort and even the amount of money that goes into some of them. Like it's crazy. Try not to slide out of view here. Okay. I keep telling Bat that Bat Girl that she needs to learn how to do this and she can make a whole bunch of projects. But no, like I was saying before, I think it's important that people share their talents and all it takes is for one person to pop into a stream or learn from somebody else or however they find out about it and it piques their interest it gets them involved in maybe a community it gets them into a new hobby and post it nice um it gets them into a new hobby and when these days everyone there's a lot of stress in people's lives getting somebody into a new hobby or get them interested into something it may make all the difference in the world for somebody too um brother that brother had to make those sculptures that you posted for only 15 bucks okay I'm gonna go look super quick oh wow those are cool Yeah, it, it literally looks like you had more than $15 to work with, so you made it go very fair. That's awesome. You did an amazing job. And I mean, that in itself is a skill. When you have a budget and you have to stick to it, or you only have, like and trying to do what you can with it. You're welcome back. You're welcome. You could... I'm thinking too with this blanket, it's pretty forgiving. You could even, um use a bigger hook if you wanted to or and like chunky yarn or you could totally mix it up thirty hours I still was not sad so I wanna ask my uncle to borrow his heat gun to make it even more he said no aw Sometimes though, just, sometimes it's best to just take a step back and say, okay, I think I'm done. You may still want to do stuff to something, but sometimes you're, 
Sometimes less is more. Sometimes. He may have been worried that it might have affected it in a way you didn't want it to as well. I remember when we got married, um, I made my own bouquets, and I wanted to make them out of, um, they were out of artificial silk flowers, but they looked really friggin' real, but I wanted it so that the girls and I could basically, I still have mine, keep it, and I used a glue gun, I swear, if I had a spot on my fingers that didn't have a blister from pulling the hot glue off, Have been a miracle. So, this is where I joined the light on the light lilac so once I have another row or two done then I'll turn around and weave that in that's the only end that I'll have to weave in for this whole thing uh, all the glue gun <laughs> the same for so many steam rooms and products oh I know and you sure do know when you go to push down on something to make sure it sticks if that glue seeps out and it hits your finger oh my god that stuff's hot Crafting's dangerous. Oh, wrong one. I just was keeping on going here. I wasn't watching what I was doing. It's interesting too, um, you learn to use chopsticks with some thick paddling rubber band if you Oh. It came in seventh, well that's better than the last time, Golby. Last time you were, what, 13? Aw, oh, Bat gifted a tier one sub to catch. Thank you, Bat. Welcome to the, well, you were already part of the channel, but welcome to being a sub and you get some emotes. You have access, I think, to five now. You've unlocked them all. Sub height. That was very kind of you, that. You'll get your, your popsicle next to your name. And you'll get your, your sub role in Discord. It should sync it up if you've got your Twitch linked to your dis linked to uh, your Discord if you sync that up. We have a pretty awesome community. Oh look, you got your popsicle already. You probably already if you if you've got your account linked, you probably already got your I just made a hype one instead of the sub hype. There's so many sub hypes out there, and I have the thing that comes down, and that way when there's something good happens, whether it's 
you can use it in other people's channels if you if they let you you can use it here for something good that might happen You'll notice the one that says my bad. That's because typically, um, I also play games. And typically in Call of Duty we play on hardcore and a lot of times I shoot Bat or Colby and I kill them and it's like, my bad. So that's the my bad, the story of the my bad one. sometimes play racing games and we bump into each other like, oop, my bad. Yeah, the, my bad. Are the emotes not going up over the screen like they're supposed to? Oh, they're there. There. They just, it picks a random spot on the screen, so sometimes it's hard with the uh, craft one. No one could, what happened with the, I'll restart that. Heard one. Well, that's awesome too because right now it's September and subs Twitch is not charging as much for a sub. And but the, the good side of it is, is those of us who receive the income from it, it's not cut into our income. Twitch is absorbing the discount, which is awesome. So now if there's people out there you wanted to sub to, um, you can do so. And what's even better is, say you have somebody you regularly sub to, you can um, sub for multiple months, and the more you sub, uh, the more your discount. So that's kind of good too. Very nice. My, my phone was under the, on top of the yarn somehow and I hear launch my phone across the desk. That would have sucked. So I wonder, were you watching any of the... See, now this is going to bug me. When I did my loop, I missed wrapping it around the purple yarn <sighs> so um, that's gonna bother me and there's no way I can really fix that right now I'll go back and figure something out about that after but this is it's important to make sure that when you're looping around that you're putting the yarn in underneath it and Normally, I would be quite anal about that and go back and rip it apart. How far am I at? You know what? I'm going to. Because it's literally just, I just have to go here to here. Um, because a lot of times I'm working on a blanket that is for here. And it's not going to matter if there's a little imperfection, but I am a perfectionist because this may end up being a gift. So, all right, back to there. All right, let's see where we're at. Make sure we do it right. At least it wasn't too far and it's not like an extensive pattern. This is why it's important to make sure you're looping the yarn around the piece you're not using. There we go. I'm glad I saw that when I did. And now I'm going to probably be all tangled up. Just a second here.
do this a little fast so I can get caught up to where I was. This is a good pattern too for doing um, if you're just sitting watching TV because it becomes muscle memory because it's the same. It's so repetitive. Um, this is something too like this one is only like ten stitches wide per square. Nothing saying you couldn't make it like make each square twenty. You can make them as big as you wanted. Really, there we go. That would have drove me crazy, by the way. There was another network here. Twitch has been having issues. I really would, that's one thing I miss about Mixer. When you would refresh or leave a, leave a channel and go back in, the chat was still there. I just refreshed and lost it all. All right, back to where we were. Bingo. Boiling. You're going to have so many more points than I do. So I always kind of hold on to the end here so that when I go to pull it through, I'm not going to like over pull it and make it sag in. And I was right, I did get things tangled up here. Kind of. Nope. I do not tell the truth. We are good. You're welcome. and playing with his friends online. Bat, did you download Fortnite? I downloaded NHL 20. Against my better judgment. Can't guarantee I'll play it. I'll try it. I will try it. I hear you have one. Did you play two games? Did you win both? Your games are cold. Four, one, two. Four, one, two. What's your other one? Mm -hmm. Um, scored the one in gold about 30 seconds to play. And then Keith put it off the post mm -hmm. with like a second or less to play, which would have been classic yeah. Keith. That totally up to you if you want to. I just figured maybe you want to play. Perhaps. So, does that mean you won the series? or? Yeah. The series is over. I'll have to steal. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's good that you won. Yeah, no, I was. I remembered you guys were playing, and I asked Bad if she knew what the scoop was. 
That's the scoop. I downloaded 20 today. I logged you in and set it to download. God, this music's gonna put people to sleep. Yeah. Don't think so. I really doubt that. His allergies don't seem to bother him near as much as yours. Dwayne Johnson confirms he and his entire family test positive for COVID-19. Oh wow, really? It's installed on him? You'll give it another shot? Awesome. Um, that's not good. And something tells me I think his mom stays with him. That's not good at all. Do you hear that bat? Brian thinks he loves you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Batgirl made a very personal statement today. And I just want to read it out. I hope she's going to be okay with me reading this live on stream since it's such a powerful yet personal message. <clears throat> to quote Batgirl, I feel that tacos are more important than pumpkin spice. There, I said it. Fight me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Tacos are the shit. Mm -mm. The greatest thing ever. Mm -hmm. Well, I agree, because I don't like pumpkin spice, really. Batgirl goes, I did. <laughs> I did with a question mark? Or? Yeah. <laughs> the whole tacos are better than pumpkin spice. Anyway, because you've stated that, Brian says he now loves you. So there's that. There you go. And she's like, oh! <laughs> and Brian has stated very blatantly he will not be partaking in any Fortnite gameplay. <laughs> That's just not happening. Ta Kobe tacos are better than what? Pumpkin spice. Because it's coming into the whole season of pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin spice this, pumpkin spice that. getting all fancy and highlighting his text. Oh no he didn't, it's because my mouse was hovering over it. My bad here, I thought you did something fancy. Oh, can you tell Bats I just answered a question on Facebook? I got it right. Was it the number one? Yeah. Yeah, I got it right. You are wrong, sir. He said he answered your question on Facebook. You are incorrect. Yes, I am. No, you're wrong. No, yes, I am. Right. Brian, tell me. Okay. I had mm -hmm. three. Right. What's the question? Oh! <laughs> and the light bulb comes on. Oh! 
yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, 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 yeah. What's the question? What, what's Everybody's the question? here. <laughs> what's the question? It's a, like a okay, yeah, riddle. What, what is it? It's one of those ones he's better off reading it because you need to see it. Okay, I'll just yeah. no, 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 I'm gonna figure this out using my brain. Okay, okay no, no. You guys. <laughs> Dude, I texted you. Fat says you got it right the second time. Thank you. Had some prompting. No, I didn't. I. I told you you weren't right. I like riddles like that. Makes you think. Plus it helped when I read that everyone else was wrong because at first I'm like, oh, it's this. And I'm like, wait a minute. No, it's not because they got it wrong. Oh, and it's actually really simple. 250. Nope. I thought that too. Okay, so it's not that both the and Uncle Abe the No. Okay. Kate, there's a... Owen's trying to figure it out now, but the fans will in my hair in my face. And then I'm inhaling it. Hold on, are you going to fifty? Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, ten. Right. How much did I have? You just gotta kind of. Sometimes you gotta slow down and read it and think about it. That's really easy. Those games usually make your brain hurt a lot more than usual. <laughs> All right, let's keep on trucking with this here. Owen. Oh, I found my missing face mask. The black one. Mm -hmm. What was it? Second place, Colby. You're getting there. You're getting better. You went from 13th to what, 7th or 8th? And then. Owen, please. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Owen? Yeah, my bad, my bad. Oh, I cut you off. That's upsetting. Anyway, goodbye. Love you. Love you too. You're being late. Games? No. And you're in bed by 11 no at. Jelly beans, no. Nothing. Whatever. I don't know. Not in there. You're, you're about to switch to Red Dead 2 to get away from the building, a-holes. I don't know why people build. I don't build and I get the, we get the wins. Bats and stall in Fortnite. If there's any, they'd be out in the kitchen by the little bookcase from where you got them in like an Easter. If you haven't eaten them already. Otherwise, there are no jelly beans because those were the only jelly beans we had or the ones you had. You love the jelly bean question, Fairy Brian? That was Owen. <laughs> Always asked very philosophically. I don't know why you're back in the room. They're not in there. Yeah. 
Apparently that was a very Brian question, Brian. Are you awake? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, you knew it was Owen? Yeah. Yeah, oh no, they sound a lot alike, don't they? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. one back. <coughs> bat was kind enough to gift a sub to a new follower this evening. Yep. Much appreciated. Streamed your game. Hmm. That's still pretty good, though, right? Yeah, no, that's... That's pretty really good. Mmm. Oh, no, it's really good. That's fine. There's a lot of people, Bri, that stream that don't use a camera at all. Oh, really? Yeah. Did he go... <laughs> oh, I dropped my yarn. special shirt. What? Do I want to know? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You came in 56 because you fell to your death? Well, that's that's on you, Colby. I managed to get all week one challenges done in Fortnite. Is there an Xbox No. Or if there is, I'm not in it. I'm just... I know you're not in Oh. Brian's wondering if you guys have an Xbox party on the go. If you are chit-chatting amongst yourselves. Never mind, I'll just look on now. <laughs> not one of my finer moments. Girl says there's no party, but she can make one. The first one is going to be a black shirt, white tags. Okay. 
that out. No, 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 it'd be... It's a t well, if you want just black with white, we can make that with the cricket. You tell me later. You tell me later. In fact, I think you told me first. I did? Now I'm curious. I do have my texture right here. Matt says she joined your party, and me or Colby should join too. You had a party going? Yeah, oh god, I did. I'm not in the party right <laughs> He's now. He's not down there right now. But I have to go home and join my party. Oh, Meter just gifted a tier one sub to Colby. Yay, it's subtober. Sub it's sub September. Sub September. Sub I'm going to use your sub hype because I don't have one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do it. We can make those on the cricket. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the we go to know this coach He won't understand it. Meter's gonna go to bed shortly. Oh well that's not good. Sub height. Colby, now you have a popsicle next to your name. Yes, hopefully you, you probably need a good night's sleep. That and something really greasy. You get paid Friday, you'll have to give someone. Paying it forward. Yeah, right now it's discounted um, for all the month of September. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, Twitch is absorbing the discount. So it doesn't affect those of us that actually um, earn the money off it, which is cool. Um. I have to squint to see it because I have the screen small. Uh, what am I doing here? Let's see, what do we got left? Half an hour. I'll try and finish this row before we uh, stop for the night. And again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably work on this off stream try to get get some more done so that um, that cross stitch kit I ordered comes in next week according to Amazon but I also need to figure out a way to zoom my camera in because I can't seem to might need to update the drivers or something having some issues getting it to zoom properly Yeah, Bat, you got some competition now. She was killing it because she was the only one playing it earlier.
I downloaded the right hockey game here. I downloaded NHL 20. I make no promises. I will give it a go. I'm not saying I'm joining the league. I'm not saying I'm doing any of that. I may play as Carlton. Carlton's a cute mascot. You and Colby face each other week one. <laughs> you guys can hold your own. You get, you've been practicing. Don't start doing what you did in football. Give yourself some credit. Plus, you're just you're still learning. So, ooh, nice. I only wish that when this game, like when the round is over, it shows you what the words were that you missed. That'd be nice. getting bulky. At least it's not like 30 some degrees in here right now. Having like a blanket draped over me. I'm going to have to change this music because it's going to put people to sleep. Let's do happy tracks. Whoa. Hope that's not too loud. If it's too loud, let me know. If it's not loud enough, let me know. Oh. Got my head there. It blocked out. It stopped. The bot stopped the name of the track because it's got the word ass in it. <laughs> Let's allow that. There you go. Very Metroid. Yeah. Pretzel Rock's very limited, I find. I miss Spotify. But, got all the rules. No copyrighted music. I permitted the term ASIX. beat her to it <laughs> you gotta watch bats are very competitive in this game Give me a word. You can almost make a stream just out of words on stream.
Oh, I know one. I didn't take my word. Well, that sucked. Why wasn't that word? Oh, it was there. Never mind. Oh, Colby, it counts as your two month sub. So you'd have a different color popsicle. Just saying. Noise. everybody hanging out. Get some work on the blanket done. Chitan. Your lurk but you're at all right. Feel better. Good good night's sleep. Thanks for gifting the sub. Appreciate it. Oh, there's that dog. I love that dog. The ant man. That's the only dab you're gonna see on this stream. That dog, right there. button hockey apparently you guys are going racing all right well I when I wrap up here um, I think Colby and I are gonna do some duos in Fortnite once I finish this row and I will join that party Are you doing uh, NASCAR 4 or 5? Ask him for a friend. Tomorrow's gonna be, I have to get up early. In fact, you may have to get up early as well because they could be here. We're getting a new oil tank for the furnace. Sixth 
See, you need these. Yeah. Just saying. Um, new oil tanks can you put in tomorrow so they could be here anytime after 8 o'clock. try to start mixing it up like maybe um instead of just doing two hours straight oh gee, two hours straight of the blanket maybe we'll do um if my eyes can handle it do a little bit of like cross stitch and then work on this like we'll kind of mix it up or we'll have more than one project on the go or we'll do like um we start the sampler thing or something we'll we'll just mix it up for a bit of variety spice it up so to speak Take the lead from that. <laughs> now the challenge is on again. First night here, I'll just restart it again. Um, so, you guys wait. so tonight was the first night I had the words on stream um, while I was doing the craft. You want me to leave that on there, Bat, for the next time we do it so that you can keep playing? Gives you something to do while we're chatting and stuff. Is you like having that there while we're doing the cross stream? Um, there's got to be a word that uses all those letters.
I do not leave much. I should have left a longer tail than I did, just so that I can weave it in uh, fairly well. Because I don't like them when they come loose. My mother, for many of you who know, um, since Dad passed away, she's moving in with us. And she was watching me do stuff. I'm right-handed, but there's a lot of stuff I do left-handed, and it freaks her out a lot. What'll happen to me when you're done? Plan to start a family with someone. Am I an option of our fun? Let's go again. Good thing you can't see the rest of the desk. I got stuff everywhere. Yarn and everything. Alright. So I think instead of starting the next row, just because we're a bit done for time for tonight, because I was only gonna go for the two hours. Um we've got a lot of it done. Coming along super good. Pretty pleased. Um and again, if anybody um of course Mr. Mix. Dream decks are awesome when they work. Um, just a reminder, anybody who donates to the Extra Life campaign, um, I have it set this year that for every $5 somebody every donates, they have a balloting to win a custom color of their choice of the So, if you donate and win, you won't be getting it right away because I need to make it for you, but I will make one for you. All money goes to help kids. So it's coming along lovely. And you could still mix up the colors, you could still mix up like how big you made the squares, you could I still think it would be cool. I saw one where it looks like it was a quilt. Like you make it the cool. It's a lot of work, but it's cool. Perhaps pop a little raid over here. Because it's important to support others in our community. I think I'm on that we're following. Brian's on. Again. <laughs> Oh, why don't we host? Why don't we go raid with Brian? He says raise him with Batgirl. So, Brian, we're gonna raid you. So just stay where you're at. <laughs> What's that? What's bad? Downstairs. Do not eat a whole bunch of jelly beans. No, don't, please. I don't have any room on here. Don't eat a whole bunch of candy. You're gonna make yourself sick. All right, we're gonna raid Langel here in like two seconds. So stay where you're at. I appreciate y'all hanging out. Yeah, uh, means the world to me that you take time to spend some time with me when there's, I'm sure, lots of other things you could be doing. The support is greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, we're gonna raid Brian. Take care, and I will be back tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll probably just be playing a game. Not sure which one yet, but that's what we'll do. Take care. I will definitely not have more at once. Thanks, dude. Greatly appreciate it, sir.